Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about systems of equations word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem, find the value of two numbers if their sum is 12 and their difference is 4. So we have our two numbers. They tell us their sum, so let's call the numbers A and B, so A plus B the two numbers there, their sum, we add them together, is 12. They also tell us that their difference is 4, that a minus b is equal to 4. We have now set up our system of equations, and now we have to solve for our letters. All right, let's subtract a b to both sides here, and we're left with a by itself equals 12 minus b. This problem here, what we're going to do, we take this a value, being 12 minus b, and we plug it in for that a. We have 12 minus b here, minus b equals 4. So then 12 minus b minus b equals 4. Simplify that. So we have 12 minus 2b, right? Minus b minus b is minus 2b equals 4. Add 12 to both sides. Negative 2b is 4 uh, plus, oh, sorry, <laughs> subtracting a 12 to both sides, almost made a mistake there. Happens sometimes. 4 minus 12 comes out to be a negative 8. Divide both sides by a negative 2, and b here becomes negative 8 divided by negative 2, which is a positive 4. So with that information, we need to plug it into one of our equations and solve for a. We can use the first one that was adapted. a equals 12 minus b, which is 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. So our two numbers are 4 and 8. All right? We're given this problem here. The difference of two numbers is 3. Their sum is 13. Find the numbers. So the difference of two numbers is 3. Let's use that first. Well, for two numbers, let's call them a and b. If a minus b, the difference of two numbers, they say that that is 3. We now have one equation. The second one, their sum is 13, meaning a plus b is equal to 13. We now have two equations here to work with. So where do we go from there? Well, we're going to take uh, a minus b and try to get a by itself. Add a b to both sides, and a equals 3 plus b. With that, we're going to substitute, then, this value for a into that a. 3 plus b plus b equals 13. Keep simplifying. 3 plus 2b, right? b plus b is 2b, is 13. Subtract 3 to both sides, and 2b equals 13 minus 3 is 10, divide both sides by 2, and b equals 5, 10 divided by 2. With that information, we plug that into b here, a equals 3 plus b, which is 5, and now we're solving for a to get the a value. a equals 3 plus 5, which is 8, and so our two numbers are 5 and 8, right there. We're given this problem, flying to Kampala with a tailwind, a plane averaged 158 kilometers per hour. On the return trip, the plane only averaged 112 kilometers per hour while flying back into the same wind. Find the speed of the wind and the speed of the plane in still air. Well, we want to find some systems of equations here. So first part here, they say with the tailwind, Okay, with the tailwind, the plane averaged 158 kilometers per hour. So the speed of the plane, we'll call P, plus the tailwind, we'll call W, is equal to 158 kilometers per hour. All right. Now, they said on the flying back, though, so for flying back, the second equation, we have the plane speed minus the tailwind, because right, now we're going into the wind, 
and they said that was equal to 112 kilometers per hour. Well, now we have two equations. Let's go solve that. We'll take a second one here. Let's get P by itself. We add a W to both sides, and P equals, well, 112 plus W. We then can take that information, and we're going to plug it into P of our first equation. So we have 112 here plus W plus W equals 158. And we're solving again now for W. 112 plus W plus W is 2W equals 158. Subtract the 112 to both sides. 2W equals 158 minus uh, 112, which comes out to be 46. Divide both sides by 2. And W equals uh, 23. And that's kilometers per hour. And that's the speed of the wind. Okay, so let's go put a note here. Wind is 23 kilometers per hour. Fits. Okay. So now we want to find the speed of the plane. Well, we take that 23, plug it into one of our equations, and we're going to solve. Okay, so let's go with that first equation. I'm going to put it right down here. P plus speed of W, which is 23, equals 158. Subtract the 23 to both sides. Pretty simple here. And P is equal to 158 uh, minus 23, which comes out to be a 135. So the speed of the plane is 135 kilometers per hour. All right, and now we have our final answer. We're given this problem here. The school that Stefan goes to is selling tickets to a choral performance. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold three senior citizen tickets and one child ticket for a total of $38. The school took in $52 on the second day by selling three senior citizen tickets and two child tickets. Find the price of a senior, a senior citizen ticket and the price of a child ticket. So the few things they tell us here from the beginning. The first day, three senior citizen tickets were sold, so three senior citizen, and one child ticket, and that's my S, is equal to, right, so they sold three senior citizen tickets, one child ticket, C being child ticket, S being senior citizen ticket, for the co fronts for a total, adding them together, of $38. On the second day, the school took in $52 by selling three senior citizen tickets again, and two child tickets. And that gave out, came out to be $52. So now the hard part's done. We've got our equations. We just now need to solve for our variables. We subtracted 3s to both sides here. And we're left with c. I'm not going to write the 1. Don't need that. And we have 38 minus 3s here. With that information, we're going to plug that in for c in the second equation. So 3 s plus 2, and instead of c, I'm putting in that 38 minus 3 s right here. And that equals 52. Distribute the 2 across to both parts here. Okay, so 3 s comes down. 2 times 38 is 76. And 2 times minus 3 s is a minus 6 s equals 52. All right. And then from there, we combine our like terms, okay, and we subtract a 76 to both sides. So we're left with 52 minus 76 is a negative 24, and 3s minus 6s is a minus 3s. Divide both sides by minus 3, and we're left with s equals $8. So, so far, the senior citizen ticket is eight dollars. All right. So now we're going to take that and we're going to use that to find the price of a child ticket. We're going to take this s and plug it into the value of eight into the second equation here that we've adapted or first equation we adapted. So 38 minus three times eight dollars. Well, a child ticket 38 
minus 3 times 8 is 24. And 38 minus 24 is 14. So the price of a child ticket is $14. And there we have it. Senior citizen ticket price is $8 and a child ticket was $14. We're given this word problem. The sum of the digits of a certain two-digit number is 7. Reversing its digits increases the number by 9. What is the number? Okay. So it's a two-digit number. So let's say this number is some two digits where it's A, B. So like 13 would be 1, 3 here. Okay. Well, they tell us here that the sum of the digits, so A plus B, has to equal 7. Okay. And from our rules of addition, we know B plus A is also equal to 7. Now remember, A and B represent the digits there. Okay, like I said, it could be, for example, 13, right? If that's the case, A equals 1 and B equals 3. But that's not the answer. Well, if A plus B is 7 and B plus A is equal to 7, that means A, B, the two-digit number, and B, A, we add them together, B plus A is a 7 and A plus B is a 7. So AB together is the two-digit number we're looking for. And they say that, okay, AB plus BA, which we just found, the two numbers, so the first number, AB, the two-digit number we're looking for. BA, we flip the letters around, we add them together, we know is 77. What do we also know? We also know that, well, they said, the second one, reversing the digits increases the number by 9. So that BA, whatever that number is, that is a unit, we reverse the digits is equal to AB plus 9. We reverse the digits, we increase the number by 9. Well, now we have two equations. All right. So let's go solve for AB. We take BA, we know it to be AB plus 9, we're going to plug it into this BA right here, okay? Right there. So AB plus, instead of BA, I'm putting AB plus 9, and that equals 77. All right, so now we're simplifying here. AB plus AB is 2 times AB. I got AB as its own variable, plus 9 equals 77. So track 9 to both sides, and 2 AB is equal to 77 minus 9, which is 68. Divide both sides by 2, and AB is by itself, put it right here, and 68 divided by 2 is 34. And so our two-digit number here is 34. We're given this problem here. A boat traveled 210 miles downstream and back. The trip downstream took 10 hours. The trip back took 70 hours. What is the speed of the boat in still water? What is the speed of the current? Okay. Well, we know one formula here. Distance equals rate times time. So if the boat traveled downstream, and they said it took 10 hours. So our first equation, well, the speed of the boat plus the speed of the current is going downstream, so it's going with the current, right? That's our rate times time, they said, was 10 hours. How far do they travel? Well, the first sentence tells us that. The boat, a boat traveled 210 miles downstream, then came back. So the distance downstream is 210 miles. Okay? Second equation they tell us here, they said the trip back, so the trip back would be the speed of the boat minus the current, because now they're going against the current, took 70 hours, and that Again, it's 210 miles. All right. So now, let's go simplify these equations here to make it a little more easier. I'm going to divide 10 to both sides here. And we have B plus C equals 210 divided by 10, which is 21. Okay. The second equation. Again, we divide here by 70. And we have B minus C is equal to 210 divided by 70, 
which comes out to be 3. Okay, so b plus c is 21, and b minus c is 3. Makes it pretty easy. Let's go b by itself. We add a c to both sides, and b equals 3 plus c. And just a note, a very complicated problem became pretty simple now, all right, once we have planned it out right. We take that value for b, 3 plus c, and plug it in for this b. So instead of b, I have 3 plus c here, plus c equals 21. 3 plus, well, c plus c is 2c, that's 21, minus 3 to both sides, and 2c equals 21 minus 3, which comes out to be 18. Divide both sides by 2, and c equals 9. So the speed of the current is 9 miles per hour. Okay. Well, now we want to find the speed of the boat. So we take that information and plug it, and we'll say back here for the boat speed. The boat equals 3 plus, instead of C, put a 9, and 3 plus 9 is 12. So the speed of the boat is 12 miles per hour, and there we have our final answer. We're given this problem here. The State Fair is a popular field trip destination. This year, the senior class at High School A and the senior class at High School B both planned trips there. The senior class at High School A rented a filled and filled vans, or sorry, and filled eight vans and eight buses with 240 students. High School B rented and filled four vans and one bus with 54 students. Every van had the same number of students in it as did the buses. Find the number of students in each van and in each bus. Okay. So the first high school, they said they had eight vans, so let's say eight V, eight vans, and eight buses, so eight B for number of buses, or value of uh, <laughs> students in, uh, in buses and V is the number of students in the vans, okay? That gave out to be a total of 240 students. Bus, or school two, school B, <laughs> had four vans, filled four vans, so V being the number of students in the van, plus one bus, and that had a total of 54 students, a lot less. Well, now we have two equations, we can solve the system of equations. I'm gonna get B by itself, so I subtract a four V to both sides, and B, don't need the one there, is just 54 minus four V. Take that information, I'm going to plug it into B in the first equation. So we have 8V here, plus 8 times B, 54 minus 4V equals 240. Now we want to solve for V. 8V comes down, distribute the 8 to both parts. 8 times 54 is 432, minus 8 times 4 is minus 32 v equals 240. We want to subtract a 432 to both sides and 240 minus 432 is a minus 192. 8v minus 32v is a minus 24v. Divide both sides by a minus 24 and we're left with v is equal to negative 192 divided by negative 24 which is 8. So the van here had 8. But what about the bus? We're going to take that information and plug it in here for this equation to solve for the number of students each bus has. So B equals 54 minus 4 times 8. All right. B equals 54. Well, 4 times 8 is 32. Minus 32. And then B equals 54 minus 32. 22. So there's 22 students on each bus, and each van had eight students. We're given this problem here. The senior classes at High School A and High School B planned separate trips to New York City. The senior class at High School A rented and filled one van and six buses with 372 students. High School B rented and filled four vans and 12 buses with 780 students. Each van and each bus carried the same number of students. How many students can a van carry? How many students can a bus carry? All right, so the first uh, high school, they filled one van, 
So one van and six buses. So B being the number of buses, or students in a bus, sorry, and V being the number of students in a van. And a total of 372 students. High school B had four vans, so four V plus 12 buses. And that's equal to 780 students. Okay? So now we want to solve for our variables. Well, here I can just subtract a 6B to both sides. And very quickly, well, 1V, just write V, is 372 minus 6B. With that information, I'm going to plug this in for V of the second equation. 4 times 372 minus 6B plus 12B equals 780. Now we want to solve for B. Distribute the 4 to both parts. 4 times 372 is 1488. 1488. 4 times minus 6B is a minus 24B. Plus 12B equals 780. I subtract a 1488 to both sides. And 780 minus 1488 is a minus 708. Negative 24b plus 12b is a minus 12b. Divide both sides by, oops, minus 12. And b equals, well, negative 708 divided by negative 12 is a positive 59. So our buses hold I'm oh, sorry, not 79, 59. Oops, 59. I wrote 59, it said 79, but it's 59. Okay, buses hold 59. So now we want to find how much the van holds. Okay, well, we need to use our other equation, or one of our equations, original ones, but this one's easier. We've already adapted it to what we need. Minus uh, 372 minus 6 times B, 59. 372 minus 6 times 59, which is 354. And V is 372 minus 354, which is 18. So the van has going to have 18 students. Okay? And the bus is going to have 59 students. Brenda's school is selling tickets to a spring musical. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold three senior citizen tickets and nine child tickets for a total of $75. The school took in $67 on the second day and selling eight senior citizen tickets and five child tickets. What is the price of one senior citizen ticket and one child ticket? So let's look at the first day. They told us that three senior citizen tickets, so three S, S being the price of a senior citizen ticket, and nine child tickets, so we add them together, and C being the price of a child ticket. We added them together and got a total of $75. On the second day, they sold eight senior citizen tickets and five child tickets. Again, S being the price of a senior citizen ticket, C being the price of a child ticket. And that's equal to $67. What is the price of one? Uh, so now we have to find the price of each one. Well, now we have our equations. We need to solve for one of our variables first. All right. So the first thing I like to do here, actually, is I'm going to subtract a 9 to both si 9c to both sides, and I'm going to try to get s by itself. So I have 3s here is equal to 75 minus 9c. Divide both sides by 3, and s is by itself now. And 75, now make sure the 3 has to go to both parts. 75 divided by 3 is 25, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So S can be written in the form of 25 minus 3C. We then take that information here and we're going to plug it in for that S right there. So we have 8 times S, we write 25 minus 3C plus 5C is equal to 67. Now we have one variable we can solve for C. Distribute the 8 here. 8 times 25 is 200. 8 times the minus 3C is the minus 24C plus 5c equals 67. Well, we subtract 200 to both sides. 
here. 67 minus 200 is a negative 133. Negative 24C plus 5C is a negative 19C. Divide both sides by a negative 19. And C equals negative 133 divided by a negative 19 becomes a positive 7. So a child ticket cost $7. What about senior citizen? Well, we're going to take that value of 7 for C and plug it in for that C. S here equals 25 minus 3 times 7. S equals 25 minus 3 times 7 is 21. And 25 minus 21, good old 4. So the price of a senior citizen ticket is just $4. And now we have the price of both child and senior citizen tickets. We're given this problem here. Matt and Ming are selling fruit for a school fundraiser. Customers can buy small boxes of oranges and large boxes of oranges. Matt sold three small boxes of oranges and 14 large boxes of oranges for a total of $203. Ming sold 11 small boxes of oranges and 11 large boxes of oranges for a total of $220. Find the cost of each of one small box of oranges and one large box of oranges. Okay. So S will be small boxes of oranges, L will be large boxes of oranges. So Matt. Matt sold three small boxes of oranges and 14 large boxes of oranges for a total of $203. All right. Ming sold 11 small boxes of oranges plus 11 large boxes of oranges for a total of $220. All right, so we have our two equations. We have Matt and Ming's. We now want to use that information to solve for our variables using the system of equations. So I'm first here going to try to get S by itself. To do that, I subtract 11L to both sides, and we're left with 11S equals 220 minus 11L. Well, if I divide 11 to both sides here, S is by itself, right? That cancels. And now make sure you divide 11 to both parts. 220 divided by 11 is 20. And 11 divided by 11 is 1. So we're left with just L. So now we have S in terms of L, S by itself. We can plug that in for the S in our first equation. For what is it? Matt's equation. So 3 times, instead of S, we put in 20 minus L plus 14L equals 203. And now we're solving for L. Distribute the 3 to both parts. 3 times 20 is 60. 3 times the L is, or minus L is minus 3L plus 14L equals 203. Subtract 60 to both sides. And we're left with, well, on the right side, 203 minus 60 is 143. And negative 3L plus 14L is 11L again. Divide both sides by 11, and L is by itself. And 143 divided by 11 is 13. All right. Well, now we have this other equation. So L, let's write that out. The large box of oranges. we can say is $13. The small box of oranges, which we'll find, we take this L and we're going to plug it in, crossing here, for that L right there. So S equals 20 minus 13, and S equals 20 minus 13, which is good old 7. So the small box of oranges costs 7 and now we know the cost of the large box of oranges and the small boxes of oranges. We're given this problem here. A boat traveled 336 miles downstream and back. The trip downstream took 12 hours. The trip back took 14 hours. What is the speed of the boat in still water? What is the speed of the current? Well, one thing we know is distance is equal to rate times time. And that's going to be useful for us. 
So let's deal with the first trip. So the boat traveled 336 miles downstream, and that's our distance there. Our rate, well, is whatever the speed of the boat is, B, plus the speed of the current, because we're going with the current downstream. So our rate combined is B plus C. The time, they said, that took us 12 hours. And that's equal to a total distance of 336 miles. The trip back, though, so the trip back would be the speed of the boat minus the current because of the rate as the boat minus the current. We're going against the current. That trip took 14 hours, and it traveled the same distance of 336. We now have two equations, right? each one with two variables. We'll solve for our variables. So what I'm going to do is try to get rid of this excess thing. I'm going to divide both sides here by 12, make it a little simpler. MB plus C, the 12 cancels. And 336 divided by 12 is 28. I'm going to do the same thing here. Divide both sides by 14. And so now B minus C is 336 divided by 14, which is 24. With that information here, I'm going to try to get B by itself. So I add C to both sides. And B equals 24 plus C. We then take that information for B and we're going to plug it in to the B value in our other equation. We have 24 plus C plus C equals 28. Well, 24 here, C plus C is 2C equals 28. Subtract 24 to both sides. And 2C equals 28 minus 24, which comes out to be a 4. Divide both sides by 2. And C equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the current has a speed of two miles per hour. The boat speed, we take that value for the current and we're gonna plug it into the C here. So B equals 24 plus, so the C is two, and 24 plus two is 26. So the speed of the boat is 26 miles per hour. And now we have our final answer. Current is two miles per hour and our boat is 20. Uh, six miles per hour. I hope you learned something here and if you did please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math Minutemathtutor.com